Guys, awesome nerd show here, and today we're unboxing the Bam box. So it finally arrived this month, and as you can see, it's in a weird brown box and everything. Um, so they did some with their whole shipping thing, switching up a shipping, so that's why everything's getting here, or it's always arriving late now. And then they don't have their normal Bam boxes, but I think they're supposed to be getting like designed ones at least. Um, but hopefully, there's something cool in here because again, we once again we waited so long. I haven't tried to open this thing. Um, because it's now under, uh, not under, it's now a new month, and so this is for May, and it's June, and stuff like that. So I don't remember exactly what's in here, because all the stuff they advertise is for a June box, which this is the May box, so it's just all confusing. But we got a under construction thing here from the BAM box. Um, so it's, uh, we're redesigning the BAM box, and next month you'll see the new design. And then they're also throwing addition, like a bonus item type things in with the box next month. Um, just as like an I'm sorry for people and stuff like that. So let's look what we got in here. So they um, had some like stuff advertised and so that's kind of why we reordered because the last box was going to be our last one. But then they um, like with the stuff they advertised sounded interesting and everything. So first up they advertised of course Gardens of the Galaxy. And so we have a film cell which I don't know if um, you'll be able to see. But we got this nice um, little like picture thing with a, oops, sorry, on this side group. And so, I, and so on the back, it's got a certificate of authenticity. Um, and then there's some about Groot on the back, which I don't know why, because this has nothing to do with Groot. But it's hard to see the picture. I doubt you'll be able to see what it is. But it's the point in the movie where it's um, got Groot, uh, sorry, Drax, Drax, um, Star Lord, and Mantis, and it's the whole part where they're she's like touching them and telling their darkest secrets. And she just told Star Lords, and so Drax is pointing directly at him, laughing at him, and stuff. So that's the scene if you can't really. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the picture there, at least the silhouette type thing. So that's the um, film cell that we got. So that's kind of cool. Next up, we have at H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds picture. Of course, we have another certificate of authenticity, and we've gotten another one. I don't know if it was War of the Worlds, but we got stuff like this. I think it was from Bambox um, around when we first got it. But it could have been another box too. I may just be mistaken. Um, but uh, this is like a different look, look and picture and stuff than what I've ever seen before for War of the Worlds. And on the back here it says um, has been uh, hand signed by artist Chris Garofalo and guaranteed authentic. So that's his signature, I assume, down there in the bottom. And he's the artist of that. So this is what I was really wanting. So we have a signed picture from um, Star Wars Clone Wars TV show, which I really enjoyed when it was on Cartoon Network and stuff. Of course, obviously, it's um, over with now, and now they're doing uh, Star Wars Rebels on Disney and stuff. But we have, um, of course, this Yoda picture, which is what I was really hoping for, because Yoda is one of my favorite characters. And then it's signed by the guy that does the voice of him and the things on the back here, but it's upside down. Um, it says, has been hand signed by Tom Kane, who um, voices Yoda in Star Wars Clone Wars. And... Um, there's a certificate of, certificate of authenticity back there, you know, with his picture and everything. So that's super awesome, and I love this. And this is why I really wanted to get the box again, because, again, I like the Clone Wars show, and I wanted to get the autograph. Because they said it is one of the, um, like, main characters and stuff, and I, Yoda's definitely a main character for that. And then we have our pen for the month, and it is of some robot. I have absolutely no clue what this is. Um, it says, of course, oh... Um, says the main theme is Defend Space Edition was the theme and then this is Tiki the Robot so I don't know exactly what Tiki the Robot is but that's what it is just a blue um, so hopefully I think in the book it'll show more or say more about it and give um, some explanation so there of course they have Defend Space Edition and so we have the um, or I guess it's Tweaky the Robot is what it is and then there's um, additional pins which I did um, read I think it's the next box going back to the whole one-up thing and stuff so more we can get like exclusive or variants of the items in the box which um, I like getting all the same but um, because it seemed like we never got the cooler ones out of it um, but it's still just to add variation and go back to what they were so there is the different pins there which it says um, Buck Rogers is what that is from 
So, I had no clue. Then, yeah, we have the Nostromo crew patch, which we did not get. Fortunately, that is a reoccurring issue I see when I do watch other YouTubers do the BAM boxes. Occasionally, they will be missing an item from their boxes. Yeah, so we've had it with another box, but not BAM box before. Um, the next up we have... Um, so the pictures of Yoda, so it looks like there's two Yodas you could get. Either one would be cool, but I really like this one with the blue background. It makes it stand out a lot more. Well, and that one has got his lightsaber, too. Yeah, and but the other one, though, does have the other Jedi in the background. So that would have been awesome to have, too. Um, so yeah, signed by Tom Kane. And then, of course, our Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 um, photo cell thing there. Of course, you could just got, I assume, any scene from the movie. The one there's cool with... Um, Grew on Rocket's back. That would have been cool. We got that. Then we have the War of the World um, prints, which it looks like there's two you could have gotten. The like reddish one, and we just got the gray as well. And then there's also a giveaway. So we may have to do that to win that uh, signed comic. That'd be kind of cool and stuff like that. Um, so I have to probably get a picture thing with that. And then we have for next month, which is like I said, the thing to keep advertising is Heroes and Villains, Unlikely Heroes. Um, so I don't know exactly what the unlikely hero thing goes like that. But there's going to be a signed autograph from Power Ranger, so I'm super excited about that. Um, I don't really care which Power Ranger it is. I'll take one from any of them since I'm trying to get all their autographs anyways. So that just helps add to the collection without me going to a Comic-Con. Um, so what was your favorite item out of this box, bro? Uh, if we would have got the Nostromo patch, that would have been it. Oh. But uh, probably the film cell? Oh, yeah, the Guardians thing. This is really cool. Um, this is probably my second favorite because obviously my first is the Yoda picture. But this is definitely a second. I really enjoyed this box. This print's cool. I mean, it's War of the Worlds, so I don't really care that much about it. But the picture's still cool. And then I know cool what the pin was. And I don't really care that much about the patch. I wouldn't care for it either way. Uh, but that's going to be it for this BAM box unboxing. So if you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. Leave any comments you have down below. And hit that red subscribe button to see more. And we'll see you next time.